Hey, this is Shannon from the Common Thread, and are you ready to do our sew along? So we're ready to do our sew along. So hopefully you have the geese in the cabin um, pattern, and also the 10 inch log cabin trim tool, cause you are gonna need those today. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is on page two of the pattern, you wanna do all your cutting. Now, you really only need A and B for the first round. We're gonna work on the first round um, today. Um, but whatever you wanna do, I cut everything and then I was ready to go. Um, so um, then I laid it out just like this and I labeled all of my colors. So basically what you'll do is you'll have, um, so it gradates, the log cabin gradates from um, light to dark. So here's the block. So it kind of gradates from light and on into dark. And then you have your background on the other side. So um, just pick your colors if you're not doing our kit that kind of progressively get um, darker as you go along in um, the higher in the alphabet. Okay, so the first step is, um, Round one, so on page three of the pattern, we're gonna do round one, which uses um, a background A and a light A. Also, we'll use B, which is a background B and a light B. So depending on your colors, but here are mine, and I've laid out the block for you to look at. So here are my A sizes, and here are my B sizes, and then this is my center. So now I chose red for the center of my block, and also it will be all of my geese that are going down across the pattern. So they're all the red, the deeper red. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to sew um, this A to your block and this A to your block, and press away from the center. Then you'll sew on um, your background um, B, and also your light B, and then press away from the center, and this is what you get. Okay, then you can um, go to the ruler. So we're doing, this is round one, so here is the light, um, the white is round one, and we wanna put our center square in round one, just like that. Now you have some lines to, um, to check yourself with. Now this to me in this um, pattern, you really, a lot of us use a scant quarter inch. You really don't need much of a scant. You just need a quarter inch. So um, you can check yourself. If you're really um, open here um, or on either side, then you probably have two scan of a quarter inch and you need to um, check it out. But I'm not too bad off, maybe just a touch. And I don't do perfection, so. There you go. Okay, and then you wanna line up with the center, check your lines going diagonal, and you wanna trim two sides. Now you have directions in the pattern and also on the, uh, the ruler. So I'm gonna trim two sides. And then I'm gonna rotate and do the same thing with the other two sides. Line everything up. Um, and so you'll see that you really don't line up with the outside of any of the other um, lines. You're just going from these two here and trim the other two sides. Okay, so that is round one. Then you will add um, the red squares for your geese. So um, just keep in mind that you um, want to add your squares where you meet the two colors, the background and the other color not where you have two of the same fabrics. So like for instance, um, let's pretend this is my corner. You don't wanna do it here. Um, now you have the picture in the pattern. She's um, giving you great instructions here with pictures. Um, so you wanna do it where the two colors meet. So it would be here and then again over here. So um, if you, um, the pattern tells you to just trim or to mark a line on the back of the square, and then you would place it on your block, just like corner to corner, just make sure you're pretty. And now you've just trimmed this, so you should be really, really great shape from here. Um, then you would sew along the uh, line. Now we're sewing directly on the line because we want um, to do diagonal to diagonal. But if you have, um, some uh, seam tape, this is um, It's So Emma, or if you have a Sew Steady that goes on your, um, on your machine, you can also uh, do that either way. So without having one that is marked, 
you could just line up with your um, quarter inch foot still on there, and then you could sew this. Now I'm using my um, fabulous M7 that I love, just like that, and um, you wanna do both corners, this one and this one. Now this is just my little scrap of fabric that I always uh, sew with. Then at that point in time, you wanna press um, to this, um, away from the center, and trim off. Now the pattern does not tell you to trim off, but your long armor will thank you if you get rid of it because that is just increased bulk. And then you wanna do the other side the exact same way. So there is round one. Now if you have something funky going on, um, with after you add your geese you may want to get your ruler and check your measurements again um, depending on if you have stretch and your diagonal here but you can check yourself and after a couple times you will um you will catch on okay so this is round one this is this week's um lesson in our sew along if you need help post your questions um and we will be glad to help you if you need a pattern or a ruler um we have some on our website or if you still need the kit i think we still have a couple left um and you can get those also so uh good luck let us know send us pictures of your progress thanks have a great day